some good news to share tonight about a young child with ties to Center County who's fighting for his life. Seven-year-old Josh Hardy lives in Virginia, but he has family in Center County, and they got good news tonight that a pharmaceutical company has agreed to treat Josh with a drug that could save his life. Six News reporter Lauren Hensley sat down with Hardy's uncle tonight and has more on that. Lauren? Well, little Josh Hardy, he's been battling cancer, and though he's been cancer-free for two years, he's facing another setback. He now has a virus, but now he is going to be given a drug that's designed to fight that virus. Seven-year-old Josh Hardy has been fighting for his life since he was this small. After four bouts of cancer, Josh has survived and has been cancer-free for two years. But during his last round, he had to undergo a bone marrow transplant that weakened his immune system. Doctors at St. Jude Hospital recommended Josh be treated with a drug that is currently in trial form and has not been approved by the FDA. The drug is manufactured by a company called Chimerics based out of North Carolina. Josh's family was willing to do whatever they they could to get Josh the drugs, so it began a social media campaign. The family has advocated for him, the community near and far. Um, there are so many people that are out there to support Josh because no one should, you know, let a seven year old. Uh, fight alone. Tonight, the company agreed to move the development of the drug forward. In a statement, the company said, quote, Josh Hardy's story brought to the public attention the often devastating impact of virus infection and helped accelerate a discussion between the FDA and Chimerics regarding the need for additional clinical development. Everyone's hashtagging saves Josh and it's just been um, amazing the outreach and the support of people near and far um, to help Josh get the uh, medication that he needs that can hopefully uh, help him fight this virus. Now in an update, updated statement, Josh's uncle said, we are so grateful to get the drug that gives Josh the chance to fight the virus and recover from his fight. Reporting live in the Center County Newsroom, Lauren Hensley, Six News.